Not many animals can challenge crocodiles or alligators and win. Some animals, such as lions, can discourage crocodiles from attacking. But when crocodiles go on the prowl, they're usually the biggest junkyard dogs on the block. If you want to see how it all goes down between crocodiles and other animals, keep watching because we're getting started. He's moving, let's see. Fast. Oh, look, he's gonna... oh, look, at the, look at the mouth. You got that on film? <laughs> Number 15. Crocodile attack lion. When a lion decides to cross a water hole, he is almost ripped to shreds by a crocodile, but because of the feline's quick reflexes, he manages to escape. An adult croc can weigh up to 1,150 pounds compared to 400 pounds for a lion. Because of the size difference, it is difficult for a lion to injure a crocodile without endangering his own life, especially if the fight takes place in the water. The croc's powerful jaws could grab the lion and drown it. Hence why the lion just wanted to get out of the water without fighting. When lions take a chance and decide to cross bodies of water, they are always risking their lives because crocodiles do not discriminate and will attack the felines just as they attack wildebeest and impalas. The only difference is that the lions are better equipped than those animals to defend themselves, all depending on how deep the water is when they are ambushed. When one of these lions is almost grabbed by a hungry crocodile, the felines snarl and hiss at the crocodile once they're out of the water. These two lions are startled when a crocodile tries to mess with them as they're crossing a river. But the big cats still manage to escape unscathed by fending off the reptile and sprinting out of there as fast as they can. Number 14. Crocodile Attacks Gazelle During the Great Migration, hungry crocodiles await the arrival of gazelles. On its way to new grasslands and calving areas, a herd of gazelles attempts to cross the river. However, because the river is rife with crocs, this could be a disastrous mistake. Some of the animals get through, but one unlucky gazelle is snatched and crushed by the starving reptile. The gazelle in this video is so impressive, and as it leaps and jumps across a waterhole, right into the mouth of a famished crocodile. Unfortunately, it was the worst place where to land. Crossing rivers for gazelles must be terrifying. Every time they walk into the water, they don't know what kind of monster is going to attack them. You could see a crocodile grabbing one gazelle as the rest of the gazelles manage to cross while their friend is practically gulped in seconds. A croc usually waits for land animals to come to him when hunting them. His favorite feeding ground is the watering hole. When he captures a gazelle leg or a young antelope's head, the first thing he does is drag his prize into the water. Then he raises his tail to begin his death roll. He rolls the prey away from the water's edge, decreasing its chances of escaping. He also drags his body downward with his momentum. Once his prey is completely submerged, all he must do is wait for it to drown. A cautious antelope slowly dips its head to drink from a seemingly still pond, only to be surprised by a ravenous crocodile and pulled into the water to be devoured alive. Crocodiles and alligators have two anatomical features that allow them to detect their prey when it gets close to them, even if they're underwater. Crocodiles and alligators have eyes on top of their snouts. This allows them to keep the most of their body underwater, while still allowing their eyes and nostrils to protrude. This allows them to stay hidden while keeping an eye on their prey's movements. These reptiles also have excellent vision and can see well both during the day and at night. Their visual acuity is extremely useful for hunting both during the day and at night. Number 13. Crocodile Attacks Zebra It's a known fact that crocodiles chop up their victims with reckless abandon to turn their large bodies into small chunks of meat they can swallow, but in this video, this crocodile isn't able to get a good grip on his victim and the zebra, although injured, manages to escape and run out of the water. I don't know how long he'll last with that leg injury, but at least he gets to survive another day. The zebra in this video desperately tries to walk out of the water hole while a crocodile is latched onto him. When the crocodile opens his mouth to get a better grip, the zebra manages to walk out of the water, but can barely walk because of a significant leg injury. A nervous zebra herd is drinking at a dam in the Kruger National Park, and as the herd settles down, they suddenly scatter in all directions when a crocodile launches a surprise attack 
in shallow water and grabs one of the zebras. The struggling zebra manages to free itself from the crocodile's vice grip jaws and runs out of the water as fast as it can. Number 12, alligator and caiman eats egret. By late July, egret chicks perch themselves on tree branches and begin to test their wings. But they'll need to hurry up because the caimans are hungry and ready for an easy meal. It's almost impossible to think that a caiman in the water can jump high enough out of the water to snatch birds perched on trees, but in this video, we could see it with our own eyes when an alligator jumps out of the water to grab a bird and crush it. You would think the birds are smart enough to position themselves high enough so the reptile can't get to them, but I guess not. These reptiles are eating machines and will do whatever it takes to get a bite. At an alligator park in Orlando, Florida, an alligator chomped an egret that was sitting on his head. The vendors at this park sell hot dogs for people to toss to the reptiles. Only in America is this possible. Imagine giving fast food to alligators. Wow. Anyhow, the birds stand or sit on the backs or heads of the alligators and snatch up the hot dogs before the alligators can eat them. The pelicans are out on the water looking for something interesting to eat. But what they don't know is another animal is also looking for something interesting to eat, and it happens to be pelicans. A crocodile sticks his head out of the water and snatches one of the many pelicans floating around. The other pelicans are horrified and all move away, sticking close to one another, hoping the crocodile will be satisfied eating just one of them. It's a bit crowded at the best South Florida restaurants, but the menu makes everything worth it. For the exceptionally clever alligator, there may be a rare and very special item on the menu. It's breeding time for the egrets and the birds are so tantalizingly close that the alligators can practically taste them. The egrets are busy nest building and they're quite picky about their construction materials. Somehow, the occasional alligator can be seen floating around, balancing a stick perfectly on its nose. Is it just a coincidence or is this 400 pound reptile with a brain the size of a walnut, a master of deception. The egret apparently has eyes only for the stick and the alligator has snagged the chef's special. This amazing strategy or wild stroke of genius or just plain luck has been seen here, but it's the first time it has been recorded on video. Number 11, alligator attacks opossum. A poor opossum gets dragged into the water by a small alligator. The opossum didn't even have time to play dead. The alligator grabbed him so fast. Now, he doesn't have to play dead anymore because he's really dead. Opossums become scavengers once food and water are no longer available. They will move on in search of the next easy meal, but this one picked the wrong time to do so. It's best not to rummage too close to the water's edge because you end up becoming this crocodile's meal. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. A Florida alligator in the middle of the night has been watching and waiting for prey to cross over wooden plank out in a swamp. Well. Finally, an opossum gets taken by surprise and the trail camera just clicks on to catch the action on video. How quick is an alligator, you ask? Well, just watch this for yourself. It's pretty quick if you ask me. Number 10, Crocodile Attacks Impala. Impalas are easy prey for crocodiles and the animals have no other choice but to cross rivers at certain times of the year to find fresh food and that's when the crocodiles begin to salivate because they're bound to get their lot. After grabbing an impala and pulling it in the water, a crocodile drowns the animal and takes it back to shore where it begins to feed on it. The death roll isn't just a water sport. If a croc gets into a fight with another croc or even a human, he will use the death roll to easily defeat his opponent. The crucial difference between water and dry land is that the roll in water is much more fluid. On land, the crocodile is inevitably constrained by the friction of the terrain but his roll is still lethal to whatever he has between his jaws. The roll spinning motion confuses the prey. The impala drinking at this waterhole can't even tell that a crocodile is about to shoot out of the water to grab it. But when it does, the impala is quick enough to avoid being caught. Number 9. Crocodile Attacks Wildebeest A young wildebeest calf crosses the river at the same time as the zebras and one crocodile spots the little guy in no time, scooping him up and taking him over to meet his friends as they all put in their two cents while they eat this quick snack. The poor little calf is ripped and shredded in a matter of seconds by the armada of crocodiles. After being snatched by a crocodile, a wildebeest fights like a demon in holy water as it tries to free itself 
but the crocodile holds onto the animal's leg and eventually drags it back into the water to drown it. Once in deep water and held by the crocodile, all the wildebeest can do is hope for a quick death. During its journey across the river in Maasai Mara, this adult wildebeest was ambushed and consumed by a huge crocodile. The wildebeest resisted the crocodile's attempts to drag it further into the water with all its strength and fought back furiously until the crocodile eventually drowned it. Number 8. Crocodile Attacks Dog The people in this video were down south testing out some new models of knives they bought for deep sea fishing when an 8-foot alligator jumped 4 feet out of the water to grab his dog by the nose right off the dock. Thankfully, the dog escaped with just a few scratches on his nose. He is now a little more cautious about what's floating around the boat. A dog that went for a swim in alligator-infested waters was ambushed by, you guessed it, an alligator. And even though the dog avoided the first attack and began swimming towards the other side of the river, the alligator quickly caught up to it and the dog was never seen on land again. These two dogs are hanging out on the riverbank unaware that one of them will soon become this crocodile's next meal after he grabs the canine. The poor dog is defenseless and becomes crocodile souffle in seconds in front of all his friends at this beach get-together. Number 7. Crocodile Attacks Monkey The monkey in this video is hanging from a tree above dangerous waters when a crocodile comes looking for food. Crocodiles can jump while still moving. They take human-like leaps from the ground. A crocodile's jump is like a forward lunge rather than a true jump. Even though it appears as if a crocodile is leaping onto land, it is actually more akin to a horizontal spring. A crocodile calmly steps out of the water and walks over to an unsuspecting monkey, grabbing the primate and returning into the water as if it were nothing. It's almost as if the crocodile had ordered room service on the beach, and when it arrived, the reptile just walked over to it and took it back into the water. After grabbing a monkey, a crocodile smashes the primate against a rock to kill it, a technique chimps and kingfishers often use to kill their prey. Crocs thrash their prey against rocks to break up the carcass. Crocs will sometimes wedge their prey between two stones and then roll with the prey in their mouth, snapping off bits of meat. The roll is just as effective on land as it is underwater for dismemberment. Number 6. Crocodile and Alligator Attacks Eagle this eagle takes a big chance flying above the water the way it does because it's almost snatched by a hungry crocodile. Perhaps the eagle was trying to attack the crocodile for being too close to its nest, but it almost died doing so. In this video, an unsuspecting bald eagle is quick enough to fly away when an alligator tries to ambush the bird of prey on the riverbank. When a bald eagle finds itself in the water attacked by a crocodile, it manages to swim to the riverbank to escape but it's not enough to save it from its gruesome destiny as the reptile catches up to the bird of prey and kills it without a problem. Of course, being in the water was a huge disadvantage for the eagle. Number 5. Alligator Attacks Pig After spying on some baby hogs, this alligator goes for the kill as it walks up and grabs a wild pig, only to take it back into the water to finish it off. When a crocodile comes out of the water to snatch some cute little piglets, the entire family, including the parents, aunts, uncles, and grandparents, attack the reptile and chase it away. This waterhole looks artificial, and it's loaded with crocodiles, so I'm thinking it's some sort of animal park, and this pig is being fed to the crocs. Imagine being held in a cage until you are served as food to a bunch of famished crocodiles. What kind of life is that? Number 4. Crocodile Attacks Duck Crocodiles are eating machines, and they do not discriminate when it comes to prey. Whatever is available, they will crush and eat, and the ducks in this video find out soon enough. Once caught by the reptiles, ducks are doomed no matter how hard they try to escape. You can see what I mean when a duck desperately tries to escape after a crocodile has latched onto it. I mean, this duck fights and remains alive for much longer than I expected, but in the end, it will all be for nothing because in this situation, death is the duck's only destiny. A huge alligator can be seen swimming towards an unsuspecting duck, and when it reaches its destination, it gobbles a duck up in seconds in front of a couple of curious fishermen filming the entire thing. The crocodile in this video misses out when it tries to snatch mama duck, but it still gets to enjoy one of her babies as it jumps into the pool to get some lunch. Well, more like a snack. Number 3. 
crocodile attacks buffalo. A massive crocodile captured a water buffalo calf and the battle between life and death lasted very long. Every time the calf seemed to go under, it recuperated and battled hard until it was no longer able to. An elephant happened to be walking by during the battle but ignored what was going on. A water buffalo tries escaping from a crocodile in a marsh, and when the large animal can stand on a higher elevation, it avoids further conflict with the crocodile, but if I were the animal, I would find a quick way out of that water hole because more crocodiles could be nearby. This buffalo can be seen escaping the grip of a crocodile, but when it comes out of the water, it can barely walk because one of its legs is literally missing. The crocodile ripped this buffalo's leg off. What a friendly creature. Number two, crocodile attacks birds. Crocodiles are apex predators both on land and in water. The red flying fox bats are putting their lives in danger every time they drink in Australia's crocodile infested waters. You could see the bats fly right over the water, just skimming it to get a quick drink of water. It's as if they know there is danger lurking, but they have no choice and then suddenly boom, a crocodile pops out of the water, but luckily enough for this bat, it was able to avoid the worst. The crocodile sticks its eyes out of the water to see what's going on and occasionally the crocodile strikes its prey. There are so many bats, the reptiles have a bundle of opportunities. The survivors will brave the river every day until the monsoon rains break. Watch this crocodile literally fly out of the water so it could snatch this bat from up in a tree branch. That's quite exceptional. It looks like a few birds got too close to the lake and some of the crocodiles took advantage of the situation when one crocodile in particular snatched a bird and ate it. A crocodile has snatched a bird from a tree and can be seen crushing and eating the animal in the water. A vulture sees stars and visits heaven after a crocodile darts out of the water to snatch it. The other vultures are appalled as they watch their friend being gobbled up by the hungry reptile. Number 1. Crocodile Attacks Chicken This chicken has no worries in the world as it walks among five crocodiles. This chicken must have escaped from a nearby Douglas and has no idea these are dangerous predators. It only takes two seconds for the chicken to become a pretzel in the mouth of one of these mighty predators. A sneaky crocodile comes out of the water when it spots a black chicken and surprisingly enough, it uses its speed to chase the chicken back into the water and eventually grab it. Of course, the chicken was doomed the minute he was placed in the crocodile's enclosure because this was the crocodile's live feed. It's just how fast the crocodile managed to snatch the chicken that was impressive. When this chicken is dropped into an enclosure, the bird runs and jumps over many crocodiles, but none can snatch it. The chicken gains confidence, but when he runs right into a crocodile's mouth, he is crushed. I must say I felt sorry for many of these animals, especially the tiny gazelles trying to cross the river and being gobbled up in seconds. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? And well, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be a part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. Thanks for watching and see you next time.